Hey guys, we're live at Daiso. I don't know if we're going to stay very long because there is music going on. And um, I don't know if it's copyright or not. It probably is. <laughs> but I'm super excited to be here. I love this store. If you guys have not visited a Daiso, you must. You absolutely must. It's like the dollar, the dollar store kicked up a notch. It's incredible. I did come to look for um, stationery, pens, and uh, what else? Maybe nail polish, and just cute stuff. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Look at the plushies. What are you looking for, Anna? Everything. <laughs> okay. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh! These are so cute. Let's see how soft they are. Oh gosh! They're like the ones you use when you travel with the little tiny micro beads. They're so cute. I love them. You think that's K-pop music going on? I don't know. Drawstring bags, compact mirrors. Oh my gosh, they are like pillows. Hi, Purple Lily, how are you? Yes, they're, um, this one's on Westheimer. I believe. Oh, I'm also looking for um, hair accessories, of course. I was looking for a comb, like a teasing comb. Is that Korean pop music? K-pop music? I think it is. I'm probably going to strike this down, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. Sometimes they strike them down. They've never really taken one of my videos down. They've only, um, they've only told me. It's uh, been flagged for copyright, so the proper person will get the funds, and that's fine. And that's fine. See, they have a lot of home goods that I love as well. They make cleaning fun. <laughs> they even have things like to wash dishes that are so cute. It's like everything is cute. It has to be cute. Oh, these are curtains. Have you guys been to one of these stores before? Hit the thumbs up, guys, as soon as you walk in the door. eBay heaven. <laughs> Hi, Lynn B. How are you? Oh, the garden stuff. Everything's $1.50. This is incredible. I just can't even believe everything's $1.50. What are those scoopers for? I wonder what that's for. Oh, we also need some ice trays. Do you guys know if you can freeze champagne? My daughter's brought me some champagne. Or they brought some over for Father's Day, and I was thinking, we should have frozen it. And then, what in the world is this? And then I thought, I don't have any ice trays. Bird and cat deterrent. It's a black cat. Wow. Don't, maybe I need that. <laughs> That's interesting. All this is garden stuff. Arm covers for doing gardening. That's nice. I thought these were those things to put bags. You guys ever seen these where you can store, you know, your grocery bags? I have one of those in my laundry room. That's what I thought it was. Let me see who else popped in. Guillermo. Is Guillermo in here? Maria Walta. Hey, you guys were asking how hot it is. It's 92. It's probably 95 right now. It's pretty hot. And, but it was cloudy. It's crazy. But I was wearing my sunglasses because it helped me see better. What is this? Shoe band. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Look at this, guys. This is to embellish your pumps. How cool. <laughs> that is just amazing. I had never been to one of these stores, guys. I came about two months ago. My daughters brought me. And I totally fell in love with this store. And I don't really do Dollar Trees or any of that unless I really have to. Sometimes in the beginning of school, I'll go get some decorations or something. But I'm not a Dollar Tree person in the least. But this place, oh my gosh, I could live here. 
absolutely live here. It's so nice. Stick on toilet seat. What? Oh, this one is a stick on toilet seat cover. Who thinks of these things? Incredible. Oh, I need one of these. I need a scrubber. What'd you find? Let's see your basket already. Let's let's I'm on I'm live so you can tell us what you found. Okay, so I wanted to get some hand towels for my bathroom. So oh those are cute. So I want to always use to wipe my hands my facial towels, you know? So they're just yes, nice they're like, like linen. Them. Yeah, they're little linen, they're fishies and some cherry blossoms. Okay. And this fan, because these fans are essential for the summer and for fair, and I wanna stock up now. These are little fish. Okay. Right, fish are the central theme at the moment. These are, are those for stuff. your hair? Yeah. <laughs> Cute. We should get some. No, Margaret, they wouldn't stay on light. Wait, Margaret doesn't like clips. She uh, likes bones. Okay. And then these are little pins from the. Really oh, cool those ones. are really cute. Go see if they have glitter pins. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Or fountain pins. I though I already found stuff. some on Macari. Like cleaning stuff makes you want to clean. I know. That's what I was saying. They make cleaning fun here. I just got a sponge. <laughs> Maybe I'll clean. Maybe I'll clean today. Today will be cleaning day. Coral microfiber, what is this? Oh, another, I thought this, oh yeah. I thought this was one of those that go in your hair. I love those. What about three? I forget what they're called, the Turby Twist. I can't live without them. But also guys, this microfiber is the best stuff to clean your glasses. I actually use my Turby Twist to clean my glasses and I've cut it up into pieces. Other, other fabrics that I had for the kitchen, I cut it up into small squares for cleaning my glasses. It's amazing. Okay, let me see who else is here. We buy cute jeans, makeup. Oh, really? yeah, the tweezers, I did get some. And then I also got, what did I get the other day? Oh, lip brushes. They had some nice makeup brushes in here. They can't freeze, right? That's what I thought. And in Corpus, it's 82. Are you, Search Pirate, are you from Corpus? I don't know why you look like a Cali guy to me. I think I saw you on a hangout. I'm going to Corpus this weekend. I was born in Corpus, actually. But I was raised in San Antonio, and then I came back to Houston, or came to Houston, and I've been here since the 80s. So, yeah, it's hot in Corpus, too, though. Man, it's windy, too. It's that hot wind. What is this? Partitions? For what? For your sushi? How cute is that? My son makes sushi. I don't know how to make that stuff. This is all the sushi makings right here, guys. How cool. Bins. Do I need bins? Do I need any bins? I don't think I do. No. No. Yeah, I'm liking that Korean pop. K-pop, whatever it's called. I, I think I bought a CD once, but I never played it. I bought it at a thrift store because it came with stationery and stuff, and I thought I could list it on Amazon. And actually, it is listed on Amazon. Let me see. It's like 27 people are here. Six thumbs up. Go over and hit the thumbs up, guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. This is just a little field trip. We normally do thrift stores, but I love this store. And uh, we may still go to the Goodwill. Goodwill has music, too, though. So I don't know. We'll see. Botte de arrangement, something French. Hmm, these are cute bins. How cute are these, like to keep your makeup and creams and things? Oh my goodness, those are really cute. I like those. Oh my gosh, your birthday's the same day that she got killed? Oh my goodness. Oh, you love going to Corpus, Nora? It's a nice town. It is, yeah. Actually, I think I've told the story before, but my, my uh, in-laws were neighbors to Selena's parents. And they watched her grow up and become a star. And my late father-in-law actually kept a scrapbook of her since she was on her rise to stardom. So he's got pictures. They have an album of his that he collected. 
since she was a youngin and you know would play locally and all of that so yeah she's quite the icon everywhere especially in corpus electronics pet care okay office supplies my favorite look at these cute makeup bags though they are so cute and the tiniest little coin purses these are leather too that's crazy how can they do that a dollar fifty it's unbelievable Oh, did you really, Maria? Well, I went to her funeral. I stood in line. I stood in line as it, as it snaked all around Ocean Drive. We went, so we got to see. see the, and then they came and closed the casket, but it had been open casket. But we got to see her to say goodbye. It was a very, very weird time, I'm telling you. It was un surreal, as actually is the better word for it. It was a surreal time, but we did make a trek out there for the funeral. Yeah. Okay, office supplies, here we go. Scrapbook, how cute. The little bulldog there, oh, that's nice. Nice thick pages on that. I like scrapbooks like that. I don't really do the, the formal scrapbooks. I do a lot of the junk type. At least I started, I started several and I finished one. And I'm gonna get an old calendar only because there's still six months left in the calendar. And I'm using these as cutouts in my, in my bullet journal so I don't have to print one out I just kind of cut it out and then just kind of washi tape it to one of the pages so I have a month at a glance at all times I think I'm gonna get that one should I get it baby animals or kittens oh my gosh oh my gosh I can't take that cuteness but yeah these calendars are so expensive elsewhere aren't they I mean I get them sometimes at half price books but they're still like four dollars so I'm thinking they're a dollar fifty here. I think everything's a dollar fifty. Hi, Sibo. <laughs> what do you want from here, Sibone? Let me know. Sibone is on my live. <laughs> she says I want something. <laughs> oh, meet us here, Sibone. Oh my gosh, we're having such fun. Oh, see, Anna wants to show you something. What? Oh, these are pieces. These are. Is it for soap? It's for anything you want. These are little trays and they're baguettes. And what's this? A croissant. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. I don't want you to see that, see when I... <laughs> yeah, you got calendars. I'm going to definitely get that one. Oh, look, on a, a drawing book. I did get you a big one from the Goodwill the other day, though. A big sketchbook. And I think it's much thicker paper. Do you want stationery, Sibone? Because that's what we're buying. Oh, look, these stickers are cool too. I love these little ones to border off my planner, my bullet journal or whatever. I guess it's gonna be called a bullet journal, not a planner anymore, I don't know. But that's the kind I'll be doing. This is really nice to border things off. Any Hello Kitty items? <laughs> oh, is there any Hello Kitty items in here? Do you see any Hello Kitty yet? Probably the licensing is too expensive. I bet there isn't. But we'll look. S E. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny little notepad. I'm a total stationary nerd. I can't stand it. I want everything. They may. I don't see any Hello Kitty in the stationary aisle yet. I see this guy, he's cute. The little memo pad. Let's see what else is going on in the chat before I start getting lost in here. Grocery stores here every year they give out calendars. Yeah, I used to get my calendars free, especially like at taquerias and places where they sell tacos and stuff. But um, 
Lately, they have been getting a little um, tight on those. They're not, they're not giving them out anymore. You need some pens? Okay, what kind of pens? <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Where are the pens, honey? The pens. Okay, I'll come back to this in a minute. I like these magnet page markers, too. These are fun. Oh, here they are. Bless you. Oh my gosh, look at the little pencil holder. My old friends. I like that. I'm using my other Kipling bag. I'm using that for a sewing kit. I don't know why, but I, I switched up. Okay, staples. I don't see any pens. I don't know where pens are. I saw office supplies. Where did you find your pens? You had pens? Okay, bring the basket. Oh look, this is to tie up your tie up your cords. That's cute. Where's the chalkboard? No, I decided to go for the gridded post-it, the giant post-its that they have at schools. That's what I'm gonna get. That way I can just tear off and do a different graph every month or so. Though I was gonna do a dry erase and I could still get the the wet the wet erase wet erase markers where you need water to erase them. But I decided to do the other. Okay, here's some. Is this multicolored? Black and blue. Black and blue only on this one. Gel ink. Then I don't see glitter. I want a glitter too. The the glitter looks so pretty after it's dried for a couple of years. Oh, well, highlighters are good too because you can write over them. Glitter ink. Okay, metallic gel. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Did collect the water pens. What water pens? I do love gel pens, but I was looking at my old journals and the ones that I got, I forgot what brand they were. I think I may have gotten them at a scholastic book thing. They look like they were glitter embossed later. They don't look that pretty as you're using them, but as they archive, I don't know, they just get prettier. So I'm super excited about getting more. You dropped one. Cat bub. <laughs> oh, these are just the regular school type. No, I want cute pins. Glitter pins. Don't, don't see don't we all exactly ballpoint two colors i have the ones with all the colors this is pretty though mechanical pencil what is this this is hello bear <laughs> total rip off of uh, hello kitty oh here's some poo that's wonderful prank poo Magnetic poo. <laughs> Here's a poo pen. Oh my gosh, the kids love poo. The middle school kids, oh my God. One kid came in a costume for Halloween, totally dressed like the poop emoji. So crazy. A piggy bank. Golden swirl there. Oh, here's some more pens. Animal pens, antique pens. Oh, that's cool. I like that. The Buddha there. Ballpoint, that's kind of cool. And there's Pilot. Oh, Pilot's good. $2. I guess they're $2 each. What color do I want? I know I have green. I like pinks and oranges. And gold is good to highlight too. I'll try that. And a different blue. I like the different blues. I was using a purple pen at one of my meetings. Wasn't that big a deal. I don't know. I signed my paper in purple and I handed it. And it's a pretty nice purple pen, right? And I handed it over to the other lady to sign. She goes, oh, is that purple? I was like, yeah, she pulled out her pen. 
she didn't say anything. But I could tell she was thinking, oh, I will not sign my name in purple. Well, you know what? It's, it's good. It's still a signature. It's still good. It's still a legal binding document, whether you sign it in purple or blue. But uh, I, I don't know. It makes my work, my drudgery at work sometimes less drudgery. Drudgerous. Is there such a word? Here's some other pens there. These are, see, I want some fine points too. Stationary. Let me see. Now here's a purple, a lone purple all by itself. This looks like a really fine point. I'll try. I don't know. I like purple paint pens, but I do. I may get an orange too. Orange is kind of hard to see, but it's still fun. So I'm going to get that. What is this? <laughs> you take the pens? I ask. You'd be surprised how many times people will give you pens if you ask. I really do. Especially like at banks and things. If the pen is nice, or at the post office, sometimes they have a nice pen that someone left there, and I'll always ask them anyway. Is this yours? No? Okay, well, I'm taking it. Country of Flower. Oh, this is the coloring books. Color. I haven't really gotten into that. They actually gave us one for the beginning of school year last year for stress relief, they said. <laughs> I did a couple, but it's time consuming. I'm, I'm more stressed about finishing it up, in t you know, without wasting too much time. These are organic papers. All right. Oh, here's more. More pens. Water-based. I also got to be careful with the ones that leak. I don't like the ones that leak. But that's why those bullet journals are usually made a little bit thicker as well with the thicker paper. So they don't bleed through. Because that is so annoying. So I've read a lot of reviews. If you guys have a special or rather a favorite uh, bullet journal, let me know in the comments which ones that you like. Because I'm still hunting. I only bought, I think, 80 pages. Because I want to try them, you know. I don't want to commit to 300 pages and then I hate them. So let me know if you guys bullet journal or journal at all and which ones you like. Ballpoint pen scented. Oh, someone might... Uh, Sibone, do you like this one? It's a donut. She's probably gone. I may take her that anyway since she asked for something. <laughs> I wish it was pink, though. She likes pink sprinkles more than chocolate. Donuts. What is this? Is this a squishy pin? Fuzzy pin. Here we have veggies, too. Corn. Carrots. These are fun too. I do like to do these like for color coding. I know I had one, but I don't think I have it anymore. So I have to get that. And cap sharpener. Oh, that's pretty cool. You put it on the back of your pencil so you can sharpen it. God, I hate kids who get up and sharpen their, sharpen their pencil when everybody's trying to do something else. It's the noisiest thing ever. All of these are mechanical pencils, but they're really fat. That's pretty cool. Here's another pencil sharpener. Pencil holder. Okay. I think that's all the pens. All right, let me take you to the rest of the store. Through these aisles and then we'll sign off. Look at the pillows, guys. Aren't they cute? What is this? What the heck is this? Oh, it's for the back of a chair, I think. I have no idea. Toys. Swim stuff. Interesting music, huh? These are kind of cute, too. Ballpoint pens. Oh, these are the ones Anna got. More pencil holders. 
I like the one I got better with the bear on it. Oh, I need one of these. Definitely need one of these for my car. These come apart very easily though. I think I'll try the pink one with the kitty face. Yeah. Mine came apart. And you know what? It doesn't matter whether you pay $2 or $30. I bought one for $30 with the Star Wars theme. And it looked like I was in the ship or whatever. It came apart in a month, too. All right. And that was the makeup. I like colors. I'm going to look through that as well. I think I've given you a tour of the entire store, guys. Pretty much. I'm just going to look through the nail polish and things. And uh, I will talk to y'all later. I'll probably do a jewelry video tonight. I'm gonna try to go find some jewelry jars today, hopefully. Oh, I need some of these too. These are great to soak up that scum, soap scum. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. And I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the live at Daiso. Have a good one. Bye-bye. It's in Houston. It's on Westheimer.